That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time live from the USA, getting you paid every day. This is the boss of Bitcoin, the Cristo of crypto. It's your boy BK. And if you don't like me, you must not like money. Today is July 30th. Uh, Bitcoin is 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 still trending water right now, trending uh, right around 27, 2800. A big day uh, coming up inside of two days, guys, 24 to 48 hours. This thing is going to go crazy. Um, and, and that's exactly uh, why I'm taking the time today to really almost do a little mini dissertation. I put together a nice little PowerPoint. Shout out to my man, Crypto Bud. You know what I'm saying? He did a couple of nice little PowerPoint videos. So, you know, it got me thinking like, you know, I got to step my game up a little bit. So I've spent, you know, no joke, I spent about six hours a day putting together this PowerPoint in the last two days, uh, really building out some some other uh, ends. Uh, you know, different platforms for the community. You'll see that towards the end of the video. But uh, but first, you already know what time it is, baby. It's time for somebody to get paid. Uh, if this is your first time tuning in, congratulations, baby. You are now rocking with the best. Uh, every day on my channel is Thanksgiving because every day somebody eats. We all break bread and somebody get paid. Uh, Question of the day, if you want to win some cash next time, all you got to do is turn your notifications on, jump on this channel early. Uh, I give you about 15 minutes ahead of time. I throw out a question of the day. All you do is comment your answer here in the chat, just like these beautiful people did this evening, and uh, somebody go win. You know, every every month I give about $100, $200 straight out my pocket, uh, payable to Bitcoin, you know, 20, 30, 30 different winners um, over the course of a month. So today's question was, Bitcoin Cash right now is $345. How much will it be one week from now? And you can see we have a wide range of answers, a wide range. So it's $350 basically right now. How much is it going to be in a week? What do we think? What do we think? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I'm going to go with my man, Thomas Eberly, who said $189. I just like that number. That number looks pretty cool, right? So what we're going to do right now, this is this is what we do, Thomas. Let me uh, jump off this thing real quick. I'm going to post your picture in our Facebook group, and uh, you just come click on it uh, and, and comment your wallet, and I will get you paid. So let me do that real quick. Hold on one second. Um, you know. So I just jump in here. This is our Facebook group, the number one Bitcoin group in the world. And all I do is I say, free Bitcoin, winner of the day. Right? I throw up this cool looking little thumbnail. You know what I'm saying? Because BK is an artist as well as an innovator. Copy and paste the link right there. And I'm gonna change that. I'm going to change that and I comment your picture. Now, um, whoever won, this is what I do right here. I comment. Picture right there. Bam. Bam. So Big Thomas, Big Thomas, you just comment on that picture. Uh, be like, hey, that's me, that's me. Everybody's going to like that picture up um, to the top. And I will connect with you, get your wallet, and get you uh, your cash. I appreciate the support. Um, you know, again, I, uh, one of the things I try to do is educate, um, keep things fun, keep things entertaining, keep things enlightening, and keep things amazing. So. You know, if uh, you appreciate that, take 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 a few minutes right now and like this video. Um, with that being said, we are about to jump right back in it. All right. So as you can see, it's just that easy to win cash again. Congratulations, my man, Thomas. Uh, again, you're listed in the Facebook group. So jump over there, comment the picture um, and I will get that cash to you. Uh, with that being said, guys, um, your boy used to be a teacher. You know, and I felt like I needed to to draw out uh, an agenda, you know, 
a syllabus uh, that that we were going to be covering all the content that's coming out right now in the crypto community is very confusing. Uh, a lot of it is misleading, some of it misinforming. I don't think it's intentional. It's just a lot of information coming from a lot of places. So one of the things I thought would be very beneficial uh, for all of us as students to do is just to review some of the basics. And that's where we talk about the new economy. Then we talk about What's new? What's happening right now? What's changing? That's where this Bitcoin cash comes in, right? It didn't exist before. It's about to exist right now. How does that affect where we go from here? And lastly, we talk about a little bit of game theory. Well, what, how can we benefit from that, right? Um, so with those three things, uh, this will be a two-day uh, discussion. Uh, today is the first half of the discussion um, where we just kind of review some, you know, a high-level overview of the first two um, and then tomorrow we really dig into the nuts and bolts at the bottom two and 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 ultimately I want to leave you guys empowered um, you know before the fork so you still have time to move some money around make some decisions and 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 come out on top of uh, of this curveball we've been thrown in the market right so real quick just a quick 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 review of the market you can see we got a lot of red in here. That means a lot of money is flowing out of the altcoins. Uh, for about two weeks now, Bitcoin has been gaining uh, overall market share. Right now, it looks like it's at 50.6%. Um, let's see how Bitcoin is holding up. Yeah, everything. Everything is falling out. Uh, mobile go. I don't even know what that is, but it got crushed. The crush. Uh, Viratasium is down. If you like Viratasium, which I do, you might want to get ready to buy. Um, all right. So let's keep it moving. I have a PowerPoint I put together. Again, shout out to Crypto Bud. He uh, inspired me to take the time and make this PowerPoint for you guys. I uh, hope you find it useful. Um, and I think it'll be pretty informative. It'll definitely do a good job in, in helping us understand what's going on. And hopefully, again, this will be a two-day uh, dialogue. Um, that's why you see that day one in the lower corner. Um, I'm not actually going to keep you overnight. You know, um, we don't have to worry about that. Uh, we're going to come back tomorrow. I'm gonna cut it about halfway. Come back tomorrow. We'll pick it back up. So, bam! Here you go. Cryptonomics. What does that even mean? It means BK just made up a word. <laughs> crypto economics, cryptonomics, Bitcoin's cash impact, Bitcoin cash's impact on the crypto economy. Basically, how does this thing look moving ahead? Again, if you guys, uh, some of you, this might be your first time listening. Uh, I try to make this stuff fun, right? So, you know, I, 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 I have a big formal education. I got a couple degrees, a couple letters behind my name, uh, one from a big big university you might have heard about. They got a golden dome and touchdown Jesus. And, you know, everybody wears green on, on Saturdays in the fall. Uh, so I got my MBA from there. So we used to throw these PowerPoints together all day, every day. You know, and this is just something I put together real quick just to kind of go over, review some of the basics. So how does money work, right? Uh, money is essentially an exchange uh, for times or services, you know, tangible items. Um, and it's distributed in throughout the economy, what I wanted to do here is really get a high level snapshot of just a, a general economy. This is how a centralized banking structure works, right? We have the banks and the Federal Reserve and together they form up, uh, you know, this little triangle triage, uh, three banks right there you see in the middle, right? We got my man, uh, Jacob, right? With the construction hat on in the top left, Jacob, uh, works hard for a living. This man is out there putting in 40 to 60 hours a week building all these high rise condos. They building up, you know, uh, right now in Miami and Florida and every major city, they building up them high rises everywhere. You see a crane, that man, Jacob is working, right? Uh, so he's going out getting that money, you know, and, and every, every two weeks he deposits a hundred dollars into the bank, right? So what happens next? Uh, you follow that blue arrow right there. After Jacob puts that $100 in the bank, the bank takes it, right? They save 10% of it. Uh, so they save $10. And then they turn around and loan out the rest. 
Um, so this is called fractional reserve uh, lending. Um, it's based on a, a theology that people only save 10% of their money, um, so they'll only need to access 10% of it at any given time, and the most they'll ever need to access on average is 10%. Um, but the problem comes, you know, when when uh, banks operate to make a profit, not to serve society. So because banks operate to make a profit, they turn right around and loan Jacob's buddy, uh, Eric, up there in the blue, they loan Eric $90 uh, because, you know, Eric's a plumber, but he's not a mechanic. His car's messed up. He needs a little bit of money to go get his tires uh, fixed, you know. And so the bank, yeah, yeah, Eric, you know, Jacob just gave us his money. He doesn't need it right now. We'll loan it to you and we'll charge you interest on it. Um, so yeah, here's $90, you know. So Eric said, cool, thank you. He gets his car fixed every month paying that bill on time and that money he puts back in the bank goes back down into that blue arrow. And now you have Jessica down there at the lower right, you know, who's a college student and looking to go to school uh, but she doesn't know how she's going to pay for it. She's, you know, 18 years old, just graduated, only worked a couple summers, uh, you know, babysitting. But, you know, she wants to go to school and wants to be a veterinarian one day. Uh, and school costs about, you know, $60,000 a year. So the bank turns around and loans her, you know, the $81 that it had accessible. Now, it's going to take a lot more than $81 to pay for her education. But you can see that $81 that she received was actually Jacob's hundred dollars, you know, from two cycles ago. And so now going back to Jacob, Jacob says, you know, hey, you know, I, I've been making all this money. I'm, you know, I'm feeling pretty good. You know, and I got this little girl that that kind of showed up, you know, she's a Southern girl, but she was raised in the North. You know, she she likes wine. Um, so I'm thinking about flying her out to San Francisco so we could go up, you know, through the wine country. Right. And so Jacob goes back to the bank to get his money, but the bank didn't actually have it. The bank had already loaned it to Eric. So now it's this cycle of money that has to come back just so Jacob can get his original money out. And essentially this is what you have magnified times about 10 billion uh, inside our economy every day, more or less. If you think about it, you, you make money, but you spend money. And, and when you spend money, more or less, you're, you're spending it amongst the exact same vendors week in, week out, month in, month out, right? So it's a small circle of money. Uh, and this is how Visa makes money. Visa takes 3% of every e exchange, every transaction. Um, so this is just a general idea of how money works. Second thing, because we're traders, we understand how money works. Now we have to understand how people work. Uh, first thing you need to under you need to realize people are inherently greedy. Um, I want if when I was for example when I was twelve years old right I remember to the day I was twelve years old my mom and dad dad had left went out of town you know it was right around Halloween I had a bag full of candy two bags actually two bags full of candy because my my little brother he was you know I basically I took his bag he didn't really know. Um, but I ate so much candy inside of like two days. I got so sick to where I didn't even want candy on the next Halloween, you know, cause I remembered how sick I got, but I was inherently greedy, right? I wanted too much of what I thought would be a big thing. And that in turn caused me not to ever want it again. Money's the same way, uh, for the most part or the lack of money thereof is, is, is the same way. Um, and, and that's what you feel uh, in the stock market. When, when stocks are going up, you know, everything is perfect. You know, days when, I remember when Poloniex used to have a troll board and days like today or yesterday when the market was all green and altcoins were up 20, 30%, man, everybody thought they was, they was Warren Buffett. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody. But then, you know, you, you hit days like two weeks ago uh, and the market go down 20, 30%. And people thinking about jumping out the window. Um, so at the end of the day, markets are cyclical. They are based off people that are flawed. Um, every person in the market is self-interested. I want, I want mine now. That's essentially the idea that everybody has. I want mine now. 
Um, you have this little chart in the bottom left that kind of just high level supply and demand basically means at the end of the day, the more expensive something gets, the less people can afford it. The less expensive something gets, the more people can afford it. Uh, and this is where supply and demand come into place. And ultimately, you have uh, what's called P star Q star, uh, that red circle in the middle of the balanced market, which means buyers equal sellers, price is ideal, um, and, and everything is perfect. That never actually happens, but more or less, uh, what we see in Bitcoin is we see huge swings on supply and demand. Uh, that's why we're able to jump 20, 30% in a day. Uh, and swing 60% in a week. So that's just a little back end on, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the upper level. That's the macro. Let's jump into micro right now. Uh, Bitcoin, BTC. Uh, I'm quick, quick two slides. I'm gonna review Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash and then talk about the situation. So Bitcoin we see is the sun. Everything uh, in the crypto verse revolves around Bitcoin, revolves around this thing right here. So how does that uh, impact this, this fork in the road? You see what I did there? It's because it's a fork and, and okay, okay, okay. Uh, well, first of all, first of all, we take a look, quick look at history, quick snapshot of history. Uh, going back only about 12, 13 months, we see Bitcoin has increased 445%. That is amazing. Warren Buffett could never do that playing with that, playing with that Dow Jones, you know? Um, so we outpacing, we outpacing everybody on Wall Street right now. So, uh, but you can see the past uh, month, more or less, um, right there uh, at the top of the top of that top of that price range, between twenty eight hundred and twenty two hundred, twenty four hundred. We've basically been sitting sideways for a month. And remember what I talked about with these emotions. Right now, you know, it's a lot of anxiety. You know, people think we might be going down. It's a lot of denial, a little bit of denial. You know, and then also it's some. Uh, it's it's a lot of uh, hope and relief down here at the bottom right because people think that Bitcoin, people like me that know the inside of these charts and realize Bitcoin was supposed to go down, but now it won't. Um, we're more or less hopeful and relieved and very optimistic. And you know, a lot of people are looking to get a lot more money into Bitcoin over the next two days uh, so they can uh, take advantage of uh, more more speculation. So now the big question is what comes next what do you guys think what comes next for BTC I tell you what if anybody tell you that they know for sure they are lying <laughs> nobody knows and that's the beauty of it we will but we will find out together next on deck Bitcoin cash right the 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 I don't even know what to call this thing. This is like the boogeyman that jumped out the closet, went in your kitchen, opened your refrigerator, made a sandwich, and moved in and said, I'm here. You thought I didn't exist? I'm here, and I'm eating your food. So it just showed up, right? It just showed up. It's something we got to deal with. Um, so why not look to profit from it? Quick backdrop on a uh, Bitcoin Cash. More or less, it's uh, it's a product of a lot of deliberation um, between the Bitcoin community, and it was a huge split. It's it, you know the way I see it, they're almost like the United Nations. They're huge. They exist, but what do they really do? You know what I'm saying? Um, so whoever the the coders are and all the all the people that supposedly run bitcoin like what do you guys actually do i tell you what you failed at this one because if you were actually good at governance bitcoin cash would not have needed to exist um with that being said right now it was the way it was described to me um at the blockchain bitcoin uh meetup here in atlanta the way it was described it was more or less bitcoin cash is a compromise to uh, the mining network, which basically means it was a group of very strong miners that stood up at the table and said, do this or else, or else we walk, you know what I'm saying? Um, and Bitcoin Cash was the compromise, right? So now we got this token that everyone gets. If you own Bitcoin right now and you have it on a private wallet after uh, August 1st, you will have uh, Bitcoin Cash as well, one-to-one -one match. So what does that mean? 
That means that right now it's three hundred and fifty dollars uh, speculated for this coin that just appeared out of nowhere. Um, well, everything has to come from somewhere. So more than likely, it's going to come from the attributed valuation of Bitcoin and probably a few altcoins. But, but what if Bitcoin Cash is actually worth $350? What does that mean? Well, let's see. Could it be worth $350? That's, that's a question in itself. Let's see. Let's go through it. Uh, they talk about one of the things Bitcoin Cash has is an 8 megabyte block size. That means uh, it's almost, I think, eight times faster than Bitcoin right now. Um, you know, that's good. That's good. No SegWit. That means we would have never had to go through six months of SegWit videos on YouTube. That's good too, as far as I know. The less SegWit videos I see, the better. That's why I haven't made one. In addition to that, they came up with Bitcoin Cash and released it in one week. Did anybody else see this? We can't even decide on Bitcoin, you know, what color the next logo going to be. But these guys came through, made a coin, got it funded, put it on the rails, threw some, threw some futures chart up, um, and, and actually had some real-time governance, funded it, the whole nine, inside of like five days. So that, that proposes the question, if cryptocurrency in itself is intrinsically based off the network value and the, and the market adoption to it, then would Bitcoin Cash be better because they can actually move, they can actually act, they can actually, you know, operate, you know? Um, it's like, a, sometimes I feel like Bitcoin is so big and so old and so powerful that it's like almost a deer in the headlights. It don't know which way is left, which way is up, which way is down, I don't know. But I know one thing, if, if, if you know, something broke and you don't fix it and you keep doing the same, same thing over and over, you keep making the same mistake over and over, somebody's gonna look at that and somebody's gonna, gonna put a plan to beat you. And that's exactly what happened. And so now it's almost like we have a divergence in the market. Uh, it's, it's more or less a spear that's been stabbed in the middle of crypto. Um, and a lot of people feel it. A lot of people feel it. Bitcoin Cash came out as a result, right? So this is one thing I wanted to talk about because we, we talked a little bit about uh, market adoption. We talked a little bit about uh, expandability to network effect um, and a little bit about crypto as a global resource, a global asset, a global network, essentially. So um, how far away is the moon? Everybody talks about when they buy the next cryptocurrency, this is going to go to the moon, right? Well, how far away is it? How long does it take to get there? Um, this is a chart, standard chart, talks about the adoption rate of major uh, technological innovations. Um, off top, you can see that it's very, very different. And sometimes the longest uh, adoption rate was almost 100 years. Look at that. You know, uh, the telephone took almost 100 years. Now, there are many, many nuances uh, in many of these curves. For example, TVs, you know, I don't think a television was that great, but for society back then, Compared to the radio, it was pretty amazing. And also, if you think about the cost of goods, so we were coming straight off the Industrial Revolution. GE had a global distribution set up top to bottom where they owned half the world. Um, so they were able to push out their products without, a, without any, any problem. Um, you know, and they profited for the next five decades as a result. So that's why t TVs are you know, essentially an anomaly in this curve. Um, but when we look at automobiles, I think that's what really caught my attention. Automobiles and internet, or actually mobile phone. Automobile, because it took a while, but if you think about a car, I feel like Bitcoin is almost like the Model T um, to where the first two cars, I don't know if people noticed, but the first two cars that ever came off that assembly line, they actually crashed into each other. Imagine that. It's only two cars on the road and they crash into each other. Like, what are the odds? That's basically what happened right now, right? 
Um, Bitcoin and Ethereum, they run the show. But more or less, bam, crash. Now we got Bitcoin Cash. We got Ethereum Classic. Both of them crashed into each other. How does that even happen? You know? Um, but in that first green box, what I highlighted there, and, and we're looking at the orange line, right? The automobile line. What I highlighted, that first green box was uh, first 20 years. This was basically the R&D stage, research and development. This is when, you know, Henry Ford was, you know, streamlining the... Uh, supply chain. He was he was looking at the assembly line, right? How can I get a car made faster? Well, that's what Bitcoin does pretty well with the blockchain. And that's what every little coin that comes out is doing a little a little bit better. How can I move this bit faster? Right? That's exactly what Henry Ford did first 10 or 20 years, right? That's when you had the early adopters. Um the richest of the rich drove cars, right? Um, they were driving them at at uh, Kentucky Downs, like on the grass, right? Just to showcase how luxurious they were. You know, only only a few people had them. Uh, many people knew about it, but not many people could uh, cross over to it. Um, that's when you have different uh, bureaucracies and different different governances take place, right? Um, up until like the mid '70s, cars didn't even have seat belts. But then all of a sudden you got a couple little kids flying through some windshields after some bad accidents. Now, now they have seat belts and, you know, the, the seat belts don't work because the kids were too little. So now they have car seats and the car seat didn't work, you know, because they weren't made right. And now they have regulation on the car seat. So it's almost like a snowball effect. Uh, and ultimately that that's what this middle red area is, is is uh, in addition to extreme circumstances. So, for example, I think this this red area might correlate to one of the world wars that we were in you know people can't buy cars when they overseas with guns right um but when they come back uh the economy shattered and you know we're looking to rebuild from the ground up so it's different different nuances built into these charts but ultimately you can see that it's almost a breakout consolidation breakout the exact same thing we see in our charts when the green crosses the orange right um, green above orange, buy. Boom. That's when lightning strikes. And that's what I got the two green boxes showing you when lightning strikes. But in order for that big box to happen up top, that means a lot of small boxes had to come together uh, in the middle, especially in that red area. And I think right now what we see for Bitcoin is probably the first little block inside that red area is where bitcoin cash comes around nobody really knows what the future looks like nobody knows what to expect you know uh all these icos are coming out hundreds of millions of dollars being raised inside of 15 minutes you know all this fraud is happening reported every day um you know the government cracks down on on uh bce that thing's gone uh now they're uh uh, referring to ICOs as security. So we're starting to get some of that governance that happened in order for the automobile uh, to take off. So you can see different things are happening. Different things are coming together to where we will be in that green box sooner than later. But in order to get there, you know, and think about it, in order for a, there to be a car in every driveway, which it is right now, essentially, a, a, a you know, what did I say? A refrigerator in every kitchen and a car in every driveway, something like that. Um, it's a car in every driveway right now, almost 1.6 cars per household in America. So in order for there to be a car in every driveway, that means the freeways had to be built. That means uh, banks had to be there to finance the car because people couldn't afford them. That means laws had to be put to place traffic laws that means police had to be staffed to monitor the traffic and to control it and make sure you know nobody was driving a car too crazy you know to glorify babysitters on the freeway that's more or less what the highway state patrol is these days um you know all these different things right and as the cars were built that means grocery stores got their food cheaper faster so your grocery bill should have been cheaper it wasn't due to inflation but it should have been um that means you can go see your family across the country that you hadn't seen in 10 years so you know different things different benefits are built into uh the 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 sharp end of the s curve right 
And that's what the moon looks like. That's the path that it takes to get there. And that is the opportunity that we have with cryptocurrency and this new economy. One of the books uh, I have personally, and I do recommend for anybody interested in learning more about, about how this economy works and what the future might look like is uh, The Internet of Money, um, written by Andres uh, Antonopoulos. This guy is one of the originators. Uh, of Bitcoin, one of the original, original early adopters, right? Um, and I have his book in my office right here. It's it's pretty pretty impressive how uh, even six years ago um, he was able to see what's coming right now. And so, with that being said, you know that's all I had for the first half of this conversation. Um, we'll talk about the class review tomorrow uh, again, and and you know this new economy that's forming. We're running a little long on time. I didn't want to take too much time. Um, I realize it's the weekend and, you know, people should be with their families. Again, one of the videos I said, well, you should just, you know, sometimes you should just go, go to the park on a Sunday afternoon, knowing that your bills is paid. Well, that's what I'm about to do right now after I get off this call. Um, but it was something that I've put together over the past few days. So I do hope you appreciate this type of content. I hope it was uh, somewhat knowledgeable for you guys. Um, with that being said, one of the things, if you are in the chat right now, uh, we're going to close this up pretty quick. So do me a favor, jump on uh, the chat, shout your country out, let the people know uh, where you're from. And I'm going to run through a few more windows. And that'll be that. Uh, real quick, if you did purchase the profit package, I had a lot of people purchase this thing. Um, over, I think, the past week or so. I have to go back and look at the days. I'm going to be sending you an email. I got some bad news from Eventbrite. They want me to refund all the money. They said I violated their terms of service. I responded, I don't know how, but apparently they don't like me, so they must not like money because they were making a lot of it. People were buying these things left and right, like 10 orders a day. So long story short, I told you I don't, be, I don't wait on nobody to make my money. So your boy made his own website. I said, okay, Eventbrite, if you ain't gonna do it, I do it for myself. And you looking at the boss of Bitcoin.com. This thing is live and on the air. That's why I've been, I've been, I've been in, I've been, I've been, I've been away for two days building this thing. And I know it's not great. It's not got all the bells and whistle, but it works, right? Uh, says somebody's gotta be the boss. BK is one of the world's top cryptocurrency consultants. He's developed a patented revolutionary financial forecasting model, and he gives it away for free. Join the community. A hundred nations come together looking for one thing, and that's empowerment. Biggest thing on this website, uh, I wanted to make sure you guys know I am back live uh, with the profit package. It was a problem. A lot of people could not get the profit package before. Um, but to be honest, over the past week or so, it's probably best that you didn't, especially given this whole Bitcoin cash fiasco. But now that this thing is actually starting to shake up, you know, you go to boss of Bitcoin right now, click on shop, and this thing will ship right to you. Uh, again, if you purchased it through Eventbrite, you will be getting a refund. Um, I know you already got the profit package, so I am extending positivity to you uh, that after you get your refund, you, you know, in turn, come back on here and just purchase it out of GP, uh, given the situation and the circumstances. If anybody uh, wants to set up a one-on-one, -on -one, I actually had a one-on-one -on -one call right now that I needed to reschedule because I, I really wanted to get this video out. So I'm rescheduling that one-on-one -on -one, uh, with Andres, I believe. I do apologize. We missed that call. Um, that's available well. Again, uh, bossofbitcoin.com. Click on shop, set up a one on one. Bam, $25. Uh, that opens up my calendar to you, and, and we will meet uh, ASAP as uh, soon as you have the availability. Um, last thing um, this is the Facebook group, the number one Bitcoin group in the world. Again, again, I tell you, if, if this is your first time tuning in, uh, 35 minutes in. I tell you, congratulations, baby. You are now rocking with the best. I am the boss of these charts, and these are my soldiers. 6,000 strong, right? Every day we are talking. Oh, right there, Bitcoin Jones. Is that really you? Are you Thomas? 
I don't know. I don't think that's him. Um, <laughs> yeah, the name got to match. Like, I'm not just going to send Bitcoin, you know, to anybody who say that's me. You know, names got to match. Um, what was I talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We doing charts. We get doing, uh, you know, support, just information, right? Knowledge is power and knowledge should be free. That is why uh, cryptocurrency exists. That's why our community exists. And that's why it grows uh, by the hundreds every day and by the thousands every week because knowledge should be free. And that's all I'm trying to do, guys, is, is facilitate that process, empower my people, uh, you know, and, and, and make tomorrow a little bit brighter for anybody that's listening. So with that being said, I need to jump in this chat, show my people some love. So let's do that real quick. I had it up. It's gone right now. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. I was like, where is it? All right, cool. So again, if you're in the chat right now, do me a favor, shout your country out, and then we go keep it moving, keep it grooving. All right, here we go, here we go. Let's see who we got live on the air with us right now. If you in the chat, shout your country out. Let me see, let me see it. Uh, right now, let's scroll up a little bit. We got my man from USA. Uh, Big Steve asked me what I think about Litecoin. I think you really can't go wrong, uh, Steve, over the next two weeks. It's gonna be so much money uh, flowing around in this, in this community. A lot of people are gonna buy up a lot of alt altcoins. Um, and a lot of people are going to sell. But we'll talk more about that tomorrow. So uh, real quick, global check-in. If you in the chat, shout your country out. I'll get to you when I get to you. My man said uh, New Hampshire's in the building. New York, New York, USA, Norway, America, Poland, New Mexico, Sweden, Texas, ATL, Big Ed and the ATL. What's going on, man? Greetings from Chile. Hey, I heard they got some good wine over there. I'm going to have to come check that out, you know. I was actually the guy I was talking about in the in the beginning that had the girl and took her to San Fran for the wine. That was me. That was me. Um, Ecuador, Sweden, Texas, South Africa, one time to the motherland. Texas, Romania, Canada, North Carolina, Big Bobby up there in NC. I see you. SoCal, India, Germany, Austria. That's why I said we global, baby. England, right? Slovenia, Austria, Santa Barbara. One time for the West Side, America, Kazakhstan, Bedford, UK. Your boy went to Bedford, Ohio, Philippines. You know, United States of Chicken, says Fonzie the Bear. Ireland, Texas, ATL, Netherlands, right? That's how we do it on this channel. We keep it positive. We stay empowered. Again, if you want to do a one on one, set that up. If you want the profit package, it's banging and it's ready to take off boss of bitcoin.com to check it out hey with that being said it's that time of the day no matter where you stay from brazil to the bay in california all the way back out to germany hey, good night good morning and good day thank you for the time this evening i do appreciate it uh until we meet again stay cryptic y'all peace